Hello, Cuvée crew, and welcome to your wine down. Today, we are traveling all the way to Champagne, France to enjoy a really special, unique Cuvée from the Nomine Renard region of this particular vineyard. So let's talk about this specific wine itself. So this is a special club Cuvée. It's a 2015 vintage, really, really special, really, really unique. First and foremost, we are getting the grapes from a very prestigious vineyard. These grapes are going to come from biodynamically farmed practices. So that's a really great indicator of specialty farming practices and meticulousness to detail. So very much appreciate the fact that we are borderline organic with our grapes and we are appreciating that the farmers are focusing on the climate and the biodynamic structure of the moon, the stars, and all the cool things that make the, the terrain really special giving us the fruit that we love and desire. So um, this vineyard started in 1962. Very, very special story in regards to passing the, passing the family uh, business down from generation to generation from the matriarch side. And they are really focused on preserving the traditional of the, the traditional, traditional farming practices and the winemaking practices of this particular cuvee. So let's get into the color, the taste, as well as the aroma. So when you're going to see on the color of this, first and foremost, before we do that, this is 70% Pinot Noir and 30% Chardonnay. So what does that mean? So when you are enjoying this particular wine, if you are someone that really likes classic champagnes like the Bonf de Blancs, and that's going to give you the bready notes, the biscuit notes, the white on white or 100% Chardonnay, this is not that. This is something with a little bit more body, a little bit more zest, and a little bit more acidity and minerality because of the Pinot Noir effect and the majority of it being Pinot Noir. Remember, Chardonnays are definitely going to be used for, for either one of these three grapes or all three grapes, Pinot Meunier. Pinot Noir or Chardonnay. So they opted out to not go with Pinot Meunier, but they are using majority Pinot Noir with a little bit of Chard to go in there. So that's going to give you a more of a green hue with the color itself, but it's still going to be very light and aromatic. Um, on the nose, you are going to get that, that lemon lime zest note. You are going to uh, really smell the minerality through the glass. It's even going to have a chalky flavor as well on the nostril, on the nose, excuse me. But most importantly, let's get into the taste. So uh, first, I just love this particular vintage. Again, it's a special crew. Only the best grapes make this particular vintage. So it's an exceptional vintage. It's dedicated to what we consider the special club cuvee. Um, it's very fresh. Um, again, it, uh, excuse me, it matches very perfectly with the structure of the Pinot Noir, very, very perfectly balanced. And I really do think that this is a great option for you all that enjoy acidity and minerality. Um, one thing I would suggest is to pair this with some type of a really delicious uh, high-end seafood, like a Chilean sea bass with the fried skin on there. That's going to go very well. It's going to pick up on that that acid and the minerality within this as well. Because this is a vibrant, aromatic wine. It's very attractive. It has preserved lemon quality in there. Um, again, it does have the chalky aroma on the nose. Um, I think that it has a floral characteristic that's really, really beautiful. And it's the palate is smooth, has zest to it, have kind of like a sorbet feel. So I think this is one to remember. So again, this is 2015 vintage. This is going to age exceptionally well. You might get a 15 to 20 more years out of this, but don't be afraid to enjoy it today. So until the next time, guys, I want you to try this wine and let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Until next time, cheers.